Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Again, I want to welcome you to another episode of I Care, coming to you from Praise Christian Center World Outreach in Channel View, Texas, on Houston's east side. I want to invite you to come to our services. Hallelujah. We have services on Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m. at Praise Christian Center World Outreach. Our phone number where you can contact us is 281-457-LOVE. That's 281-457-5683. So if you want to get in touch with us, you can do so through uh, contacting, us, contacting us by phone. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Now, I will share with you, hallelujah, on our lifestyle. We have to examine ourselves. We have to do what? We have to examine ourselves periodically to just see what kind of lifestyle we're living. How are we living? Because, you know, Apostle, Paul's, Apostle Peter rather said something that was very powerful. He said this. He said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you these things. I'm going to bring these things to you, even though you are doing them. And he said, why did he say that? He said, because ex- a- a- unless you slip, if these things are not brought to you continually, then it's a possibility that you slip. You get away from doing the things that you should be doing. I know for a fact that sometimes when I don't listen to certain things for a while, you know, I forget about them. Amen. So these things have to be brought to us over and over and over again. That's why a, a pilot has to go through his list constantly. He cannot just by memory do what he, what he does. He has to always use the list. So in the same sense, uh, we don't want him to forget something and be thousands of uh, feet in the air. Hallelujah. And then it's too late. Hallelujah. But the same thing is with us as believers as we're walking before God. We need to rehear and rehear. That's why, again, faith comes by what? Hearing and hearing by the word of God. So we looked at the scripture in, in 1 Corinthians, hallelujah, chapter 11, <clears throat> excuse me, and, uh, and chapter 11 and verse 28. And so it starts off with, let a man examine himself. Let a man do what? Examine himself. Not others, but you. You examine yourself. That's why the scripture teaches us don't judge. Hallelujah. Don't judge others because the scripture says, You yourself, you do the same things. Hallelujah. In other words, there are things that we do that is all categorized together. I might not do the exact same thing you do, but I'm doing something like it. (laughs) Hallelujah to the Lamb. So I have no right to judge others. And so uh, when we talk about examining ourselves, one of the biggest things we want to do is examine our lifestyle. Say it again, our lifestyle. One more time, lifestyle. One, we can be light. Amen. Or... Two, we can be darkness. Amen. So when you live in the light, watch this, when you're light, we can live in the light. The light of God's word, the light of the gospel, the light, hallelujah, of doing what's right, being righteous. Amen. And then also uh, living in the light means we are living in a godly way. Everything is not godly. Doing anything and everything is not godly. Godly things are after the similitude of God or I can say it like this, or we follow after God and we don't walk in the darkness. We stay in the light, imitating Christ. That's why the word of God declares that we're to follow Christ, follow Christ. Christ is not in darkness. He's in light. Hallelujah. So we have to determine that we're going to walk in the light as he is in the light. Amen. God is light. And if we are living in the light, we're living close to God. God is what? God is light. Now, let me, let me say that to you again. God is light. Not God is a source of light. God is light. God has no resource of light. He is light. Amen. Let me say that again. He is light. And if we're living in the light, we're living in God's light, and we're living close to God. Hallelujah. Living in light means we're living in a way that testifies to our relationship to God. It testifies to our relationship with God. So when I do what's right, when I'm living in obedience to God, others will see, hallelujah, that I am belonging to the living God, that I live in righteousness. I live according to, watch this again, light. I don't live with deception. I don't live with with all kinds of devious things. I don't use evil, hallelujah, but I'm walking in light. Amen, praise the Lord. Because, again, how you walk testifies of relationship with God. How close are you to God? How do you really know God? Do you truly worship God? Hallelujah. That all, that all speaks of my relationship. Now, when you walk in the light, nobody will mistake who you are. Hmm. And darkness 
will come against you because of you are light, because of who you, who you serve and how you walk in your life, in your life. Hallelujah. By our lives, our, our way of living, people know we are Christians. Amen. Now, the darkness is just the opposite. Anybody can say they're Christians. <laughs> Anybody can say they're Christian, but the lifestyle tells the truth about them. So however you are living at this time, whatever you're doing is a testimony. Are you living truly in light or are you truly living in darkness? Just saying you're a believer. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm not trying to challenge you too much here, but I do want you to understand that you have to examine yourself from time to time and then make adjustments. I'll say that again. Make adjustments in your life. Amen. To get back to where you're supposed to be continually. Amen. So this passage, again, it tells us that if we claim to be Christians but live outside the light, we are lying. Well, I'll say it. I'll say it so you can understand it. Lying. So we cannot claim something but live some another way. If we do that, then we're lying. Amen. Amen. And so we don't want to live lives as liars. We want our lives to be fully engaged in Christ. Hallelujah to the land. Amen. If our lifestyle does not reflect Jesus Christ, we are walking in darkness. And there's no doubt about it. This is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Until next time, I care. <laughs>